7th and 8th grade homeroom, Terry Pettigo. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are having a great start to the week, start to the day, start to the night. Whenever you're watching this video, I don't know. Um, listen, I'm here today to give you a little uh, briefing as to how we're going to be doing our lessons while we're not at school. And the good news is that it's all very straightforward and it's going to be very similar to the stuff we did while we were at school. Um, I thought that I could break it down like this. Um, the, 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 the what, when, where, how, okay? Because we already know the who. That's you. The who is you. So let's talk about the what are we going to be doing while we're not at school. We're going to be doing a weekly newsletter like we were doing in the past. It'll actually be a shorter newsletter. Um, we're going to be doing a daily history reading. Uh, for eighth graders, we're going to be doing a, a daily reading of the Iliad. And we're all going to be focusing very hard on meeting our AR goals, okay? Um, I should mention that with with the history readings we do, they, they shouldn't be very long every day. And the same thing with the Iliad, they shouldn't be very long every day. But, you know, you guys have the opportunity to, to, to work in a self-paced sort of way. So let's say you weren't able to do the reading on um, Thursday or whatever. You could double up on it on Friday, right? And, you know, theoretically, you could even, you know, do all of them in one day if you have, like, a significant amount of time to devote to reading history or catching up on it. Ideally, you'd be doing small portions of it um, every single day. And... Um, kind of on that note, the daily note, which I think is a healthy way for us to continue through the rest of um, this kind of online unit that we're doing. On that note, we're going to be doing a, um, a daily video. Well, you won't be doing a daily video, but I'll be doing a daily video to help you understand what you read that day in history, to help you understand um, if you're in eighth grade what you read in the Iliad, and to also provide you guys with a small um, violin lesson so you guys can continue working towards, as the excellent fiddle players you are, towards um, the, the spring concert. So that's kind of the what. We're going to be doing daily history readings, daily Iliad readings if you're in eighth grade, um, daily AR, keeping up with that. Really, this is an opportunity to really crush AR goals. And we're also going to be doing a, um, a weekly newsletter. I should also mention that um, we're also going to be submitting a, an outline on, on Friday for the history component of our work. So you'll basically outline what you read that week. So again, to summarize it, newsletter, outline, read history, read AR, read the Iliad every day. So that's pretty straightforward, I think. Um, let's look at um, when. We kind of covered the what we'll be doing. Let's look at like the when we'll be doing it. I already told you guys that I'll submit a, a video to our Google Classroom page and also on my YouTube channel. Um, for you guys to watch that will complement and help you understand what you're working on. That'll be daily. So when will it happen daily? Probably around 11 or 12. Um, when will you guys submit your newsletter and outline? Well, you'll do that on Friday. The first one will be due on the 27th of March. Okay, so just think Friday is the due date. I can get it done then. It'll be a nice wrap up and then you'll have a free weekend, you know. Although you guys kind of have a semi-eternal weekend happening right now. Um, so the what, the when, and the where. So where do we find stuff? Pedigo, where do we find the stuff? Well, if you're on the Google um, Classroom, you'll see the first section, the introduction, where, which is probably where you found this video. Um, that's just going to be this video and maybe some documents about, you know, what we're going to be doing, kind of the same stuff that's in this video. But let's focus more on the weekly videos, the weekly newsletters, and the weekly outlines. Those three sections are important. In the weekly videos section, you'll find those daily videos. I'll post them there, um, and you'll be able to say, oh, Pedigo posted a video that's going to help me understand the history reading for today, or the Iliad, or here's my little violin lesson, right? Daily videos, Monday through Friday, um, generally, and... That's what you'll find there. So that's that's where you'll find those videos. Um, also on my YouTube page, Harry Pettigo. If you just search it on YouTube, you'll find it. Um, you look at the the weekly newsletter section. That's where you'll find the the assignment for the weekly newsletter. These newsletters, I'll talk about it real quick. They're like the ones we did when we were at school, except now they're only three. They're three articles, and these articles will be about the following. 
or seventh grade, it'll be a historical article based on the readings we did that week and how they relate to the overarching theme of the article. So let's say that the, the first article's theme is hope, right? You might write an article about um, how Teddy Roosevelt um, gave hope to the, um, the, the citizens of America during the progressive era, right? Um, so history article based on the readings and relating to the theme. Second one for seventh grade will be an AR article. It'll be about a summary of what happened in your AR book and how it relates to the theme, right? And that'll be about the readings you did that week. You can't say, oh, I read Lord of the Rings when I was five years old and I'm going to write an article about it. It has to be about what you're reading currently and how it relates to the theme of hope in this particular case. the first I'll probably just make the first newsletter have that theme. And, um, oh, the third one. The third one will be a creative article, which you guys are familiar with. It'll be whatever you would like to write about and how it relates to that theme. So seventh grade, history, AR, creative. Now, eighth grade, you guys have pretty much the same thing. You have the history and creative, but instead of an AR article, you'll be doing one on the Iliad. So like I said, you know, let's just say the theme of the week, the weekly newsletter is hope. You'll be writing like maybe like, um, how did, how did, um, Diomedes inspire hope into the hearts of the Achaean warriors or whatever. Or you could really get like, what was, you know, the, how did Aphrodite um, calls, um, calls, you know, the, the, the Trojan warriors to have hope? Whatever, it's up to you. But it has to be about the weekly Iliad readings we did and the theme. You get it. So that's where you'll, you know, you'll work on your, you'll work on your newsletter in that section, the same way we do in class, right? And you'll, you'll submit it on Friday. And um, I'll probably make some comments throughout the week, suggestions to help you guys along. If you don't have access to a computer, which we all pretty much should have because we're sending Chromebooks home with the older kids, um, if you really don't have access to that, um, you can do those by hand, pencil and paper, and submit them to me at school on Friday. Understood? Excellent. Now, we've covered the what, the when, the where, Oh, I guess I should mention the where you find the outlines. It's in the weekly outline section. That's where you'll find, you'll just have an outline. It will say outline number one, pages X through Z, and you'll just do your MLA formatted outline there based on the pages that you read that week. Simple. You should also probably throw in some of the material that I talk about in the video lectures just to show that we all understand what we're reading, what we're studying. Um, and how to submit, you guys are, as far as the how goes, you know that when you're looking at a uh, when you're looking at a assignment, like let's say like outline one, you would attach your Google document to it. You'd work on it throughout the week, and then on Friday when you're done, you just hit on the top right hand uh, corner, submit, and then your boy gets notified, and we'll take care of it. So just to kind of sum up what we talked about, business is business as usual. All you have to worry about is submitting a weekly article a weekly outline, and then doing your daily Iliad, if you're in eighth grade, readings, your AR readings, and your history readings. So you guys are looking golden. Um, also, I'm trying to find a way to send home violins with you guys. Please try to keep up on the um, little tiny lesson videos we do. Good luck and rock and roll. See you soon.